Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a get ready with me slash testing out some new products. So I just want to get into the video. I have some new stuff from ColourPop and you'll see everything I used. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome. I'm just gonna do some makeup because I am about to head out and run some errands. And I was looking through my pile of shadows I need to feature on my channel. And I did pick up this guy. This is the ColourPop uh, Build Your Own Palette, but these are all their new singles that they came out with. And then I also had a 20% Ulta coupon at the end of last year, so I did buy these palettes as well. Is anyone surprised that I bought more ColourPop? This is the Rendezvous palette, super duper cute. And this one is the Sweet Nothings palette, so I thought I could use, gosh, I feel like I could just do one look each with these, but just so you guys know, I do have them. I kind of just wanna use this one, it's so beautiful. It looked so eh online. And then I was like, eh, I got 20% off, let me buy it. So yeah, just to recap, I do have my foundation on. I'm wearing the Milani uh, Conceal and Correct Foundation. I really like it and I used to own it and I finished it up. So I just repurchased and then I have my Too Faced concealer on. Not my favorite concealer, it's that half an ounce bottle they came out with last year and then for highlight I have this Milani highlight on which is gorgeous. This is Sun Glow um, highlight in the shade Strobe Light which is 03. They came out with these I think 2017 perhaps and I love them so affordable. So yeah I just wanted to tell you guys a few things that I already have on and I want to show you guys my Wayne Goss brushes. I finally dipped into these. I had been kind of hoarding them because they're so expensive. I got this set from Beautylish and it's like a hundred and, it's like a ridiculous amount of money, hundred and something dollars. So I have used two of them so far. I really like the number 16. It's like a pointed blending brush and then this one is 17 which is just a smaller version. And I like to use the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner to clean my brushes just so you guys know. Um, a lot of people don't know about the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner and you can just buy it at Sephora and I just decanted it and put it in a spray bottle um, that I picked up from Amazon and this does really good at cleaning your brushes and usually for tutorials I like to use you know clean brushes so there's no like cross contamination type thing so I just clean this one and it does dry immediately there's a lot of alcohol in them so yeah and it smells pretty good too it's not overpowering and I think I'm gonna go in with this one so just seems like it will go with my sweater I have this very very bright color sweater on right now so I'm gonna go into the shade want you back which is like a neutral lid like crease color and I'm just gonna place that right in the crease these brushes are so freaking soft and I've been watching I watch hot mess Ness or Vanessa here on YouTube she recently did a video breaking down all the new like morphe brush collections that she's picked up and she also did a video talking about like her like favorites so far for the year and she talked about the Sonia G brushes and how soft they are and she has a lot of like Wayne Goss brushes she's kind of a brushaholic I think and she's like really making me want to buy more bougie brushes but uh, I think what I'm gonna try and do is just get the best use I can out of these ones and then when I have a little bit more extra cash I can do that I went a little too high on this this one, oh, and I need to get my brows done so badly. I am going to California next weekend, and so I'm contemplating if I should just wait and get my brows done in California um, and see, because my best friend lives out there, so I'm hoping she has like a good brow lady I can just borrow from her. So now I'm gonna go into this shade red, this red shade called Shake It Off. I'm just gonna stay with the same brush, and I'm just gonna put that in the outer um, 
part of my crease and also a little bit on the lid just to give the look some definition. You guys, I was watching Paulina Beauty. Um, I can't remember which video it was. Oh, she was talking about her wish list, uh, makeup wish list. And she was talking about the Natasha Denona palette, the cranberry palette, and how it was on her wish list. And she had actually mentioned me in her video and it so made my day. She is so sweet. She talked about how um, she really likes watching my tutorials or like get ready with me videos because I just do like everyday makeup and I'm like, thank you. I was like, that's such a compliment because I I do feel like, you know, I'm not like the person you want to watch for like a cut crease or anything, uh, but I love to wear my makeup like I, this is how I do my makeup every day. And so if I can make it work, then most likely you can make it work. Um, and then if vice versa, like if I can't make it work, I'm sure a lot of the YouTube beauty gurus can make it work. But for regular people, it's like I feel like I have a very basic makeup style. I still love how I do my makeup. I think it, it turns out really beautiful in the end. Um, but I just really appreciated her words because she just said like she likes that I do it more like an everyday style. So I'm going to go into uh, Textual, which is this brown shade. And I'm also going to try and place that kind of in the crease. And I did switch to the bigger blending brush um, to kind of like blend this out better. Um, the crease definitely got a lot darker than I had hoped, but that's okay, I think. And I, I think I'm going to stop there. And then for my lid, there's so many beautiful shimmers on here. But I think I'm going to go in to the shade R Secret. It looks like a beautiful, like, duochrome shade. And I'm just going to grab one of these flat synthetic brushes. Usually Morphe, uh, usually ColourPop, I can get away without wetting my brush. So let's try that first. Ooh, this color is beautiful. It's pretty pigmented. Um, what do you guys think of it? It's it's like a beautiful red shade, but it's a duochrome, so it definitely has like a copper flip to it almost. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Uh-oh. It's like it just flaked. A whole chunk of it just broke off, so I just dipped, tossed it in my trash can. Ugh. Okay, there is some fallout, so I'm just going to use this, my powder brush to like dust off the fallout, but yeah, this is a beautiful duo chrome shade. I don't think it's anything really unique um, in my collection because it definitely reminds me of um, the shade in the Pat McGrath palette that has that flip that's a red to like a bronze flip. Oh. So much fallout that is so irritating. Okay, so I think I'm done as far as shadow goes. Gonna do some eyeliner quick. I love my Pat McGrath eyeliner. This is just the extreme black. I saw she's coming out with a mascara. That should be interesting. And she's coming out with some new gloss too. And she just launched those mini glosses and I was like so tempted and then I was like Karen like you don't need it just gonna go back and oh god I just poked my eye with this Wayne Goss brush and smoke out the lower lash line a little bit um let's go back into rendezvous I was using like residual makeup but I'm just gonna dip into the Red shade. I do feel like these def these brushes definitely blend out my shadow really beautifully. I don't know that that makes it a justifiable expense, but I just want you to know I do feel like it blends stuff beautifully. And then I'm just going to spray my face. I have been trying to use up the Kat Von D Locket Spray. Honestly... I know people are like Kat Von D's canceled. 
I just don't really love that spray in general. So I want to get through it. And then I had seen new mascaras at Target and I kind of picked up this one um, from L'Oreal because it just looked like such an interesting packaging. This is the unlimited mascara and I got the waterproof one because like I said, I'm going to be traveling for work and I will have to probably wear makeup and I don't want like my makeup to get like flaky while I'm working and this thing is like sealed like it's a secret so let me just use this scissor here but yeah there's been so many drugstore makeup drops I just picked up wow this is intense <laughs> I just picked up the um Milani new makeup they came out with like a bronzer and oh my god what the heck they came is this really happening oh my gosh this is amazing oh fuck i forgot to curl my lashes hold on i gotta curl them quick so yeah milani just launched a concealer a stick foundation um bronzer and what else did they launch that cute like highlighting palette and Milani's honestly one of those drugstore brands that have always worked for me so I picked it up this is so freaking cool and I did buy a bunch of the new makeup uh, from Wet n Well too and I want to film that in a separate video I have a Wet n Wild haul filmed. I don't know if the haul video is up yet. Yeah, there's just been so much new good stuff at the drugstore. This, I feel like I'm gonna stab myself. I'm not used to using a brush like this. It's not doing a very good job of coating my lashes. This is interesting promise you that I've never used a mascara a mascara like this before and I kind of want to try this on too this is the Maybelline pitch black noir absolute uh, snap mascara so yeah I always love a good drugstore find so oh this is interesting this one this formula feels so dry Not really overly impressed by either of these. This made my under eye ones easy to do, but yeah. They both feel so dry. Um, they're not clumpy, but they didn't do give me any extra volume, but so there's two new mascaras that I tried for you guys. And then to finish off the look, I wanna do some lipsticks and I grabbed my lipstick little holder from my purse because I just wanted to go with my go-to combination. I talked about this in my 2018 favorites video um, that I love the Pat McGrath lip balms and the glosses. These are just so hydrating. And her glosses aren't sticky, um, but they feel very hydrating and my lips look really juicy. So yeah, this is all the finished makeup. I am going to go do my hair and be right back. So I will see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I will try and link everything I have on as well as my earrings and stuff down in the description box. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!